Hey, Ripnap. Could you maybe do a replay analysis of your own game? Yeah. Thanks for the stream, as always. Yeah, I guess I guess we could. Maybe off this game. If it's uh if it's a loss. Ribnap, thanks man. What assassin should I pick as first pick? Uh so you're gonna wanna take something uh quite versatile that doesn't get easily countered. So, if you're good with him, Genji can work, but he has the fourth lowest win rate in the Nexus. Only pro should use Genji. Um, so, first pick, good one is Greymane. He doesn't really get countered too easily. His main counters are Cassia and Arthas, but even then he can perform. Greymane is a good versatile first pick. Uh, Vala to a degree. First, she has a lot of different builds. And she's just solid. And then uh, I would say Gul'dan. Gul'dan does get countered by a few things. But because of Horrify, he can always work if you play him well. And I would say those are the most versatile first picks. I think Malthea can be okay as well if you play him okay. As a first pick. He doesn't get countered too hard by anything. Let's save some lives. Morales Keltas. Hoax, yeah, thanks for the sub man. Yeah, Falstad is versatile, but For the frozen yeah, I guess he's okay as well. You can even take Hinterland's Blast if your team lacks damage. Mecha Tassadar online. I don't think the Lucio change that I just read on Reddit is very reliable to be true, y'all on Twitch. Diablo level 7, Soul Shield or Diablo Momentum? Diabolical Momentum. Uh, standard pick is Soul Shield, but you can go Diabolical Momentum if you feel like Oppo mostly has AA damage. If I like the warrior they pick, I'll go Zuljin. Greetings, friend. If I don't like it, I'll go Linara. Soul Shield's a lot safer, Egos. I know what you're saying, but... Super support? Ah, ETC. I like, I like Zuljin here. I'll, I'll link it. I didn't know it wasn't easy to find. Here it is. Ragnaros. Does Ragnaros beat Malthael? Mm. I don't know. Maybe it's down to skill or something. Any advice for someone playing their first ranked game? 
Uh, play a character you're very comfortable with. Yeah, play a character you're very comfortable with. Let people know you'd like to take that one. Um, don't talk too much. If people are toxic, mute them immediately. Don't talk too much. Just use pings to communicate. Greetings, friend. Rupnep, thanks for the sub, man. Whose rotation do you enjoy the most as assassin? What do you mean, whose rotation? Don't understand. Hey, it's been a while since I played Sol'jin. Welcome back, bruh. Ready to let loose your wrath. Oh, yeah. Greetings, friend. This doesn't look like it should be able to fly. With these tiny little wings. <laughs> this defies all logic. <laughs> Mm, go. You want axe. I don't care. Don't YOLO on the solo lane ever. The beacons are energizing. You have to control them.
<laughs> We're also low. 98% too. Run! Run! <laughs> e! E! Oh! Okay! Okay! Mercenaries will be wise. I hope You don't need Tastingo when you have two support. I mean, maybe you'll find a situation where it's like, look, if you had Tastingo, but it's better not to. If 
we can just use Cocoon to disengage, it'll be good. I love so much when ETC mosh bits and you're not in. Just free target practice. The beacons are powering up. Uh, difficult to contend with. Zerg hand is open. The larger attack wave is heading towards your enemy. I need mana. I have 52 stacks. Holy hot dogs! Nice Aegis, thank you. Okay, he's medivacking bot. <laughs> At least not to the boss. <laughs> nice forceful. Nice time. Nice way to buy time. That's a burrow charge in. I said wait me and now he's dead? No, we have Aegis. But we use Cocoon. We must regroup. Easy. Do we want to? Do we need to? Nice chaos. I thrive in it. Let's get the objective. They have medivac, so we need to be careful of... Uh... Chaos is a ladder. All right with me. Okay, I'll be going okay. away now. See you. This we didn't take top. Uh, maybe that's okay. A 
Огонь по готовности! Ferocity. Ferocity. Just stand on this first before we do anything else. How much mana is this? 70. Do some wave clear in style. That's three minions. They'll be back soon. Oh, we got it already. Nice. They're coming for us are not as numerous as the ones our enemies face. So maybe there's hope yet. I'm a little late. We got two keeps, no need to fight. Nice grenade, thank you Morales. Good fights, we can take it. Go straight through the flame strike, I don't care. GG. Nice. I want beetle damage. I want core damage. <laughs> Woo! That was good old Zujin for me. Double support, amazing support play, Tassadar Aureo. MVP. Thanks for letting me shine, guys. Holy hot dogs. <laughs> I go straight through the flame strike. I don't care. I love it. Crash my axe into a bridge. Any tips on Zuljin? I'm in a, quite a struggle when I play him. I mean, take this build. Take Tastingo if you have one support. Two support, you can take Guillotine. Uh, 16, you can get extra slow or spinning uh, Ws. But this, like this, 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 is part and parcel of Zul'jin auto attack build. 16 and 10 are interchangeable depending on the situation. 20 with Guillotine, I would say Ensnare. If you have Tastingo, I'd go for the, uh, whatever it's called. The bonus, what, something. Whatever Ah oh yeah, Amani Resilience. That one's too good to ignore. If you already have Tastingo, 
Then for voice line, I recommend this one. Uh, announcer Butcher is quite nice. He doesn't say a lot. He just grunts. That's exactly what's needed to get you in the zone. And trance like auto attack. Diva. Uh, Suljin. Mm. Banner. I, I think my banner game was very understated. Got to MVP with pleb banner. It's quite sad. Uh, what's a good banner? Witch Doctor? Maybe the same color as whatever you are. Maybe not Alliance though. Is there a troll banner? I don't know. Is there a troll banner? Like I'll ever buy a banner. But let's see. Unowned. Oh. Never mind. Yeah. I don't know. This one I guess. It's a bit, a bit lame but. When to use D on Zul'jin? Uh, I mean, you need to feel it. You need to feel when it's right to use it. If you are attacking and not getting attacked, use D. If you are attacking and you're also getting attacked, never use D. It's kind of like that. And if you're attacking and you're not getting attacked, but you could soon get attacked or you're low, or they have great dive, which this team did not, don't use D. In fact, D is not very crucial for him, but it's just a nice little bonus. You use it only when you can. And that concludes my Zul'jin explanation for the night. You have no follower. You have no power here. 